Well, I was denied critical need to know information. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Spicy 4K Action. Thanks for watching another video. Uh, I don't know where the time is going, but uh, I am losing track of time constantly. It's crazy. Christmas is right around the corner. And yeah, I'm falling behind on my videos, so I do apologize. I hope to have um, quite a few coming out this week. I know I have this unboxing to do. I have a giveaway video to do. I still have my December haul video I haven't done. And I did pick up some more titles from Best Buy a couple of days ago when I had to return an item. And then we have more pre-order stuff coming in. At least I hope so. One's delayed. I don't know if it's showing up. My Kina order should be in on Friday. Uh, so this week should be busy. I'm still trying to do a live stream at some point if I can find the time. Man, anyway... All that out of the way, please like, comment, subscribe if you're interested, uh, but don't feel obligated at all. Uh, today we are doing an unboxing, but also just kind of talking about the new Arrow 4K release for Tremors 2 Aftershock. Uh, this is one of those limited box sets that they do. Really nice, of course, it, it's a little big, takes up a little bit of space. Uh, but I elected to go with the green one. This is not the Arrow exclusive. Uh, this is just one you could get pretty much at any retailer. I picked it up from Amazon. And I picked the green because uh, I just don't have any really green up there. Uh, so I thought this would kind of look nice up on the shelf with it. But uh, I wasn't planning on picking this up. But then at the last minute, I just decided I, I wanted to grab it. Um, I don't have the original Tremors in a limited edition. But I wanted to get this one in it. Um, I do enjoy this movie for what it is. It is not on par with the original, in my opinion. Uh, but if you're a fan of the Tremors series and you like Tremors 2, this is going to be the ultimate, you know, addition to get if you want it in the collection. Like I said, for me, it's not, you know, it's not up there with that original, but most aren't. But this is still a fun watch. It's still that 90s cheese. It's still got some of the same characters in it. I don't really care for the new sidekick in this one, but Fred Ward's character is back. He's basically a celebrity. He gets recruited by a Mexican oil company to come down uh, because there's basically graboids under the soil there, and they've evolved. Uh, but they also bring back Burt Gummer, who's the uh, gun-toting guy from the first one, who I really love his character. Uh, he's always got some really funny one-liners in it. But anyway, enough of me talk about it. I want to show the back here. Just a typical Arrow 4K release, uh, limited a box that doesn't even have to be 4K. I, you just see all of the bonus features here. And uh, there is a few new ones. So there's a brand new feature commentary by Jonathan Melville, who's the author of Seeking Perfection, the unofficial guide to Tremors. Uh, Grab Boyd Go Boom, a newly filmed interview with special effects designer Peter Chesney. Uh, critical Need to Know Information, a newly filmed interview with CG supervisor Phil Thippett. And, uh, yeah, everything else doesn't look to be new, but it's got the making of Tremors 2, an on-set feature with cast and crew, outtakes, trailers, image gallery. There's a big booklet. Uh, this is presented in Dolby Vision, HDR10 compatible. Uh, just the DTS HD audio mix, uh, but it does have the normal poster and stuff. Let's actually show you some stuff that you get in here. You do get the reversible cover art with the original, or you can go with the green, um, that's what the other side of this is. So just your typical Arrow release there. It is just the one disc, so you're not getting a Blu-ray with it. But it does have some nice artwork there. Kind of mimics the cover of the limited box set. And in addition to the poster that you get, you actually get this little mini poster that shows you the Shrieker. Basically the uh, Graboid that walks in this movie. And it kind of it's kind of hard to see, but they kind of point out certain parts of their body what it does uh, i thought it was a cool little added touch uh, i thought wow this is the poster they included in it this time really really small but no this is just another piece instead of getting art cards you're getting this so that's a cool little addition in there um nothing else in the actual case itself but as typical you're getting the nice beautiful booklet got both cover arts the the new design from arrow as well as the original artwork and then it's just a nice booklet. Now, I've read part of this, not all of it, uh, but it kind of details in the beginning, like, some of the ideas they actually had for, for this movie, and then somewhere along the line, it, it got changed. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, cool booklet, as always, with Arrow. Gives you that extra added information if you uh, care to know about it, if you're a super fan of it. 
Uh, and then again, you get your poster, which I really love this artwork that they did for it, but you can never go wrong. This, to me, th this is just the epitome of bringing me back to blockbuster type days where you're going into the movie store. And uh, How many times have you seen this on the wall? I know I said it so many times. So um, glad to have it. Um, again, if you're not a super Tremors 2 fan, is this, is this something you need? Probably not. But if you really love uh, Tremors, uh, the, the the entire series or just this movie, this is going to be the ultimate, you know, collection piece for you. Um, I haven't gotten into the special features yet, but I did watch the movie. Uh, like I said, very cheesy. He's got some funny moments. Uh, not as good as the original. I know I keep saying that, so I'll stop saying that. But um, I thought for the most part, the CGI looked actually really good in this. Like, it didn't look terrible. But then at the end, if you're familiar with the movie... These shriekers at the end start climbing on top of each other to get to like a ledge. And I don't know why, but that scene in particular just looked horrible to me on 4K. Just how fake it looked, uh, it was not good. But the, the rest of the movie was completely fine. Uh, really get some nice backdrops with the green mountains there. Uh, kind of different feel. They're in Mexico. I'm not sure what part of Mexico, but it is very green and lush compared to the desert landscape you get from the original. But all in all, Tremors 2 Aftershock, uh, highly recommend if you're a fan of the film. If you're not the biggest fan of this, but you still want to pick it up, I'm sure you can just get the standard release of this so you don't get all the, the added goodies. But Tremors 2 Aftershock, let me know what you think of the movie. Where would you rank it in the Tremors movie franchise? I don't even know how many Tremors movies there are. I know there's at least three and four um, maybe there isn't a fourth one. It has been so long since I've seen those. This is pretty much where I stop when it comes to the Tremor series, the first one and the second one. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you plan on picking this up or if you have picked this up, uh, what your thoughts are on this. But, uh, very just beautiful. Arrow just knocks it out of the park with every release, whether you're a fan of the movie or not. This is just quality, quality stuff there. And I'm always happy to get one of these in my collection because they're just so freaking nice. It's a nice hard box. You really can't go wrong with it. So Arrow, just an absolutely incredible year. And they just continue to have releases coming out. We got the Warriors coming out here very, very soon. We got Conan in January. Uh, we got the Chucky set from UK Arrow uh, coming next week as well. There's tons of stuff they're doing. I can't wait to see what they do for 2024. But uh, Arrow, definitely one of the better boutique labels, in my opinion. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope everyone has a great day. We'll see you on the next one.